Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to reset your Samsung Galaxy A36 back to factory settings. The first thing you'll need to do is swipe down from the top of the screen and tap on the settings wheel in the upper right corner. From here we're going to swipe up and we're going to go to accounts and backup and then tap on manage accounts. Now you'll want to select your Google account and hit remove account. And if you have more than one Google account, make sure you remove all of them. Um, you'll have to do this because if you don't, when you go to um, try to set the phone up again, it's going to ask you to put in the password for your Google account. So make sure you remove any and all Google accounts. Okay. Now I went one page back after that. Next, we're going to go to reset. But before we do this, I just want to give a small disclaimer. When you factory reset, it's going to erase all the data off of your phone. You'll have no way of getting it after you do the reset. So if you would like to transfer your data to a new phone, this is the option for the transfer data for the smart switch app. This is a built in app on the phone. And if you're switching to another Samsung phone, you can easily back up your data by tapping transfer data for device setup. And then it will allow you to move everything from pictures, videos, messages, everything, it'll move it over to another Samsung device. Um, or you can purchase an external USB drive, a USB-C flash drive that you plug into the charging port and you can transfer it using the external storage transfer. I'll link here to a product you can purchase that uh, is a flash drive you can plug in and transfer your data. So I just wanna give those options in case you haven't done that yet. Don't reset the phone until you've done that because you have no way to get your data after. Let's move forward. We're gonna tap on reset and we'll swipe up and go to factory data reset and then swipe up again and tap reset. We're gonna hit delete all. Um, now, actually, sorry, I misspoke. You will need to sign out of your Samsung account first. Uh, that is the last step before it triggers the restart. So let me sign out of my Samsung account. Okay. Now that I'm signed out of my account, the restart has been triggered. And at this point, there's nothing else you need to do. Let the phone sit and it's gonna restart a few times. And then when it's finished, it will take you to a welcome screen and ask you to select a language. Now, one small disclaimer as well, you cannot factory reset the phone unless your battery is at 30% or higher. So make sure you have charged your phone up first because if not, you will not be able to reset. Even if you're at 29%, it will not let you start the reset process. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, bump that like button down below. Also, follow us on TikTok and Instagram. We're at, at HT Tech Videos. Here I'll link to a really helpful video and here I'll link to another really helpful video as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.